Welcome back to your video in today's video. We're going to be playing Planet Coaster in today's video. We're going to be doing the final touches around the outside of the park, so I'm going to be uh, messing up the terrain, making it all hilly, putting trees and shrubbery all throughout the outside part of the park, finishing up the wooden coaster finally. I put in the dumb die fencing earlier, so um, that's all throughout the ride, and then um, I'll put in trees and different shrubbery all throughout the ride too. And then we're also going to do the um, fence around the maintenance road here. Just for the outside of the park, I already have it for the inside part of the park, or facing into the park, but for the other side. Just this way, obviously, we don't have people going into the maintenance road and messing up with stuff. But, um, I'll get that done off camera, and I'll make back up with y'all to um, show you the final product. So I'll see you in just a moment. Alrighty, my friends. Uh, I finished um, at least what I'm going to do. So, um... You can notice some parts, at least, in this corner here, where I just left blank. Um, these are just left blank because they're just far out of the boundaries of the park, so you won't really see them inside the park. And so there's no real point to do them, and so I'm just leaving them blank just to save space on the Oswald counter. No, it doesn't really matter at this point, since we don't need to build it much more, if anything. But, uh, starting with our wooden coaster, or actually, we'll start at the parking lot entrance. Um... I just put a whole lot of hills in here, so I wanted to make it um, just open these hills here just because I wanted to save on the Oswald counter for one and also just to make it go a bit quicker. Um, I just put in hills here which was very easy to do. I added a whole lot of trees towards the, towards the station of the Woody. And I'm um, coming over to the other end of the Woody, which I will do an updated POV on it. Um, I just put in trees here, and this would be a start of like an air forest or just a small little tree patch in an open-ish field. And then coming along to here, uh, we have more hills, and then um, I put in the uh, fence for the outside of the maintenance area road. And so I have that going all throughout the park, and I just have more hills, and then I brought some trees over to the other side of the road just to make it feel a bit more cohesive. And the road was built inside of the trees and not the trees were built around it. And because obviously the trees and all the shrubbery and stuff would have been here before the park and obviously this road. And so I just put that outer fence all throughout the entire park or road length. Again, this area is just blank here just because there's no real point to do it. I don't really see it from the inside of the park except for from the rabbit's ride right here. But other than that, you don't really see it. And then, because I want to make this feel like a forest that's kind of ending, so the park is on the very edge of it, this would be where the forest would continue off going. And this I just did because there's the most trees right near the border of the park that we have. And so um, I just took the whole of the trees that I just copied and just put them all over and made it to where they all fit in and were level with the ground. And you also notice this cliff here, this isn't, uh, this would be flat or at least hilly. But I just left it like that just because you don't see it from inside the park, so there's no real point to do it. Just makes it to where I can get the stuff done quicker. And then I just have more hills along here. Uh, more trees over here too. And then um, for the entrance, this area was just blank and it really needs something to pop. And so I just put in a whole lot of trees and some other foliage. And then this area is blank here too, and so I just put in some bushes just to make it feel more lively and just um, bring the whole area to life or the parking lot and then I added in some hills along the very edge of the park over here and then I added in some trees and I also did make sure that the road didn't start to curve up which it does kind of in some spots but other than that it's perfectly fine but um also another sore thumb is the entrance to the park where the guests obviously spawn but that that we just ignore but That'll be it for this video. In the next video, we'll do the final tour of the park. And um, well, then that'll be it for this park. And uh, we'll probably do another park series. I don't know entirely the details on it yet. But um, I'll probably talk a bit more about that in our tour. But so, do hope you've enjoyed. If you haven't, like subscribe. And do see you next one. Bye!